Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, Nuts for Art. And um, I am putting up another um, video about the Independent World Health Organization. And I showed you the link so that you can actually go there. But I was reading and looking for something else and I found this. It's from, it's called spacewar.com. And this is what it says. This blew me away, you guys. Check this out. Northrop Grumman appoints Jack Dorsett as chief executive for Japan. He will be responsible for coordinating the corporation's relationship with Japan, supporting current programs, and developing strategies for growth. Inside Japan, mind you. But listen to who this guy was. Dorset joined Northrop Grumman in 2011 following a distinguished career in the U.S. Navy where he held numerous command and staff positions. He was Deputy Chief of Naval Operations for Information Dominance, Navy Chief Information Officer, and Director of Naval Intelligence overseeing Navy's intelligence information technology networks, cyber electronic warfare, and unmanned programs. Wow. While with the Navy, Dorset was the resource sponsor for unmanned programs, including Triton, Fire Scout, and unmanned carrier launch surveillance and strike aircraft with command and control capabilities. He was director for intelligence to the Joint Chiefs of Staff. This is what Northrop Grumman says about him. Jack will bring a wealth of industry knowledge and experience in defense systems, making him well suited to lead Northrop Grumman's activities in this strategically important market. His appointment will enable us to establish our in-country presence and position the company for future success in Japan as we continue to broaden our market focus to one that is increasingly global. So what the fuck does that mean? I mean, think about it. Northrop Grumman hired an inside guy. They hired an... Uh, the guy was what? Oh, what's this freaking title that he had here? That blew me away. Director for Intelligence to the Joint Chiefs of Staff. That means he knows all about all the inside scoop. He knows all about the nuclear programs. He knows all about the drone programs. He knows about all the weapons, all the cyberspace. And he's going to go over there with Northrop Grumman, and they're going to figure out how to make Japan a strategically important, what, station for the new nuclear war that we're about to have? If fucking... Mount Fuji doesn't blow up and we have a big gigantic volcano destroying all of Japan or we don't have another earthquake or maybe they know that fucking Fukushima is about to fall apart. What the fuck is wrong with these people? Like that's dated December 22nd. That's coming out two days or three days before Christmas 2014. What kind of life does that give us? I mean... Not only do fucking people not care and want to get off their asses and do anything about it, but the fucking government is just letting these bastards go anywhere on the planet and destroy any fucking thing they want. Anyone and anything is fair game as long as you're poor. As long as you're not one of them, the few hundred thousand. Which probably isn't even a few hundred thousand. It's probably more like ten thousand. If you're not that important, who gives a fuck? I'm honestly, it's it's fucking stunning. I mean, are, are we gonna just start seeing pots of boiling water and we throw babies in there and then we watch these fucking guys eat the boiling babies and we're gonna go, wow, yay! You're right, you're right. That's what we should have been doing all along. Fucking Fox News and MSNBC, two peas in the same pot. I'm sort of had it up to here with all of that bullshit. Anyways, I'm going to post this video up. Please go to that Space War place because, honest to God, it's got all kinds of, like, insider information. And uh, I didn't actually do any real hardcore research on it, so it could just be some, God knows, some teabagger deciding to put up what he thinks is real news. But kind of blew me away 
reading that about our Navy guy turning into like the cyber spy for Japan. I guess that's the way it goes, huh? Anyways, you guys, um, we have a new year ahead of us, and uh, we are not giving up. In fact, we can't give up because it picked us. It's going to chase us down. We cannot stop thinking about Fukushima. Honest to God. My little grandbaby had like a duct underneath her eye, eyelid swollen yesterday. She's two years old. I came home and did research on it, and you know who gets that is people going through radiation, radiation treatment. Now, she's never been through radiation treatment, but we do live here in Oregon. Do you think I could even talk to my daughter about this and tell her what I read? Hell no. If I talk to my daughter about radiation, I'm ixnayed, man. So it's, it's freaking frustrating for me. My kids look at me like I'm a fucking lunatic. I don't know. I'm going to keep posting videos. It's, I guess this is a way for me to vent because I can't talk to the people that I love about the danger that we're in. And I'm, and I'm willing to stay here in Oregon and get radiated just to be with them. But personally, I wish we could all just move to South America. So anyways, you guys, let's keep our spirits up. Ciao. I guess I need to do some tapping about this, eh? Bye, you guys. Thanks for being out there.